Hello Internet, welcome to another game development tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to make a game like Tic-Tac-Toe. So the game is going to look like this. It's a classic game and most of you have already played it. So first go ahead and create a new Action Script 3 document and then go ahead and create a action script file once you've done that save both of them onto your game folder so I'm gonna name my game folder as tic tac toe and I'm gonna name my FLA file as tic-tac-toe.fla now similarly I'm gonna go ahead and save my action script file I'm gonna name it as main.as actually you have to name it as main.as alright so once you've done that go to the FLA file and click on properties and in the class text box write main so what this will do is this will actually link our dot fla file and dot action script file okay so now let's go ahead and draw the things that are needed for our game let's go ahead and draw a rectangle and make its size 80 by 80 okay so once you have done that right click on it and select convert to symbol so name it as place with a capital P make sure that the registration point is at the center make sure it's a movie clip and finally check export for action script so once you've done all that click OK okay so now we have a place symbol so basically it represents a place where the player can insert a X or O so just as I said the player must be able to insert a X or O into this place so let's go ahead and make that so go inside the simple place and select the timeline and go ahead and insert a new blank keyframe and insert another one in the first keyframe draw a O and make sure its size is for 80 by 80 and in the second frame draw a X and similarly make sure its size is 80 by 80 and once you've done that select the right click on the first frame and select actions and right stop followed by a semicolon okay so now we have a place place symbol ready with three frames so now a tic-tac-toe game has nine places where if the player can insert a symbol so let's make nine copies of the symbol just hold control and drag the symbol to make copies of it
now I'll just draw lines around it to make it look better okay so that looks better now we have to give instance names to all these places so to the first place give instance name place 1 and place 2 for the second place place 3 for the third place and similarly give instance names to all the places So once you've done that, go ahead and make sure that all the instance names are correct. If any of your instance name goes wrong, then the game is not going to work. Now finally we have to make a label for printing the status of the game like uh, whose turn it is or who won etc etc so I'm just gonna go ahead and make a label I'll make it like uh, 24 now go to properties and make sure that it's a dynamic text and give it an instance name status text txt with uh, capital T so now we are done with the designing part and we'll do the coding part in part 2 of, of this series if you like the video make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed and I'll see you in part 2